welcome back to my channel so today we're going to talk about something a little different y'all we're going to talk about why i sleep on a floor mattress and not a regular bed okay that everyone else sleeps on typically in western society so i do live in the united states and i do choose to sleep on a floor mattress there's a couple reasons for that part of it was at first it's because i was po as in I couldn't afford the R in the word for it. And so when I, you know, as a young adult and stuff in my 20s, I would either, you know, have the older twin double bed, you know, that was bought for me as a child and I kept that and then eventually something happened to that and then I had to buy my own furniture. I would buy these cheap ass like mattresses that are two to 400 bucks and they won't last long so like they'll start hurting you know like my back and issues like that so they weren't high quality and it wouldn't last as long so the last the last mattress i had was cheaply made honestly i don't even remember where i got it from but i know it was like under 400 dollars. it was probably two three hundred bucks and it was a queen mattress after a few years it started hurting my back and i had issues waking up in the morning because it just felt so you know it just was not working for me so i couldn't afford a really a, i couldn't afford a nice mattress or maybe i just didn't set my lifestyle to be able to afford a good mattress if that makes any sense um so anyway that was one of the reasons is because I just couldn't afford to buy a really good mattress when I needed to. The other reason was because like when you're moving, you have to like, if you're moving from apartment to apartment, if you buy a queen or king mattress, it can be a pain in the butt to move those to apartment to apartment. And typically I live on a second floor when I move into apartment buildings. And so it's a pain in the butt to move those mattresses if you choose to move you know you not paying for someone else to move your mattress so out of convenience the other reason why i didn't buy it um yeah those are the two main reasons po and convenience um and the, and the third thing was like we didn't want to buy well you know when i met my husband and we got married and things we talked about you know expensive furniture that we wanted to purchase now we're in a time of our life where we could afford to buy a nice mattress however we weren't really sure like we're like well if our living situation changed to a point where we have to get rid of our furniture we didn't want to buy a mattress that we're only going to sleep on for a year or two and then store it you know what i mean or having or having to sell it so that is the other reason why we didn't buy a mattress and I will get into that in another video about that a little bit more so it makes more sense to you because the third reason may not make a lot of sense so anyway those are my three main reasons why and it, it's honestly it feels really good it is better than buying a cheap mattress it actually supports me and I usually don't have issues when I'm sleeping um, so I think the one I have has is four inches thick and I bought it from Amazon. We had a couple Amazon gift cards and I want to say it was under $200 for the floor mattress and it's a tri-fold. So it folds into three, into thirds and it's easily to collapse and you can store it. So if you don't want to lay it out the whole time, you can store it in a corner. Um, we also have a mattress topper on top of it. So that one's probably about another two inches that our in-laws, my in-laws gave us for a Christmas gift a couple years ago. So we layered that up together. So we probably have about six inches above the floor. And we've been living like this probably for, hmm, probably almost two years now. So I've been sleeping most of my nights on a floor mattress and I actually enjoy it. It's not too bad. I think the things I kind of miss about a normal mattress is that the height, like being up higher, I feel like I miss that. And also I really want like, someday I want a King or California King mattress 
that's really pricey because I really like king beds and bigger because there's so much space there. And I feel like once I was sleeping in like a California king or a king mattress, it kind of spoiled me for life. So I don't like small beds. But anyway, it's a queen and me and my husband sleep, sleep in this bed. And I feel like I really enjoy it enough where it doesn't bother me enough where I feel like, I don't know, I really like it. So that's why I sleep on a floor mattress. It's because one, I was po. <laughs> Two, it's convenient. And three, it's because, you know, like in our lives at this point, it's like if we are trying to sell furniture and, you know, we weren't 100% sure where we're going to be, we don't want to buy expensive furniture just to sell it or to store it. So those are my three reasons why I sleep on a floor mattress. And I do strongly recommend to buy a floor mattress if you cannot afford a an expensive, you know, like maybe like a sleep number bed or certain beds that are very pricey that are really good for you. I would strongly suggest to buy a floor mattress over going to like a cheap mattress store and spending under $500 for like a double or like a queen or king mattress because y'all, your back is going to be jacked up and you're going to have to buy another one. So that is why I sleep on a floor mattress and I strongly suggest people to have a nice cushion floor mattress for themselves if they can't afford a nice, expensive, comfortable mattress. So that is really it, y'all. Thank you for listening to why I sleep on this lovely <laughs> floor mattress. Um, I know... Um, some people do it for health reasons, and I guess it will be healthier for you if you can't afford an expensive mattress. I feel like if you have maybe not good knees, it may not be the best because you do have to kind of, you know, sit up. You have to use, I don't know how to explain it, but if you're in a yoga move and you're on the ground and you have to get back up, you kind of have to do that kind of thing when you're trying to get up out of bed. So just keep that in mind. All right, see you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye.